So the other day I was watching some giraffe videos and I thought it would be a fun project to simulate how their necks evolved over time to become that long by eating from trees. So I opened up Game Maker and I started working on it. First I created a simple map and two objects. A tree object that gets randomly spawned on the map and that will get eaten by the giraffes and a giraffe object with properties like hunger, age or sex drive. The giraffe can be in a few states. The first state is the idle state where the giraffe just moves in random directions. Then we have the searching for food state. When the hunger property of the giraffe goes below 50, it will try to find the nearest tree and move towards it to eat from it. Then its hunger property will go back to 100 before getting slowly decremented again. Then when the giraffe is old enough, we also have the searching for a mate state that will activate once the sex drive of the giraffe reaches a specific threshold. Here the giraffe will try to find a mate of the opposite gender and they'll make a new baby. Finally, we have the dead state when their hunger reaches zero or when they get too old. Apparently, giraffes live on average 25 or 26 years in the wild, so I made it so they have more and more chance of dying after being 22 years old. I also created a property called neck size that represents the length of the neck of a giraffe. We will use it to know whether a giraffe can eat from a specific tree or not. Every tree has a height property that's initialized to a random number between 2 and 30 and a giraffe is only able to eat from that tree if their neck is longer or equal to the height of the tree. So if a giraffe has a neck size of 8 and the only tree on the map has a height of 10, the giraffe won't be able to eat from it and it will die. But if it has a neck size of 12, it will be able to eat from it. The trees can also die from old age when they're between 15 and 50 years old. So the important thing here is that the first giraffes on the map will have a neck size of 8 to 12. When a new baby is born, they inherit the neck of their parents but with a random variation of plus or minus 4. Hopefully what we'll see is that when we run the simulation for long enough, the average neck size of our giraffes will grow since the ones with the longer neck have access to more food and so they have more chance of surviving and more time to make babies. So first we'll run a simulation with 5 giraffes, 5 trees, and a new tree every one and a half seconds. We'll track a few things on the left side of the screen. The total number of giraffes that are alive, how many died from old age, how many died from hunger, and the average neck size of the remaining giraffes. Let's see how it goes. So here, most of the time, the species just goes extinct, which is probably because the sample size is way too small. So our giraffes die before they can make enough babies. So now we'll try with 10 giraffes, 10 trees and a new tree every 0.75 seconds. In that scenario, we can see that they still die most of the time, but there were some cases where the species actually managed to survive, and where the average neck size of our giraffes actually grew longer over time.
it even reached 35 or 40 in some cases. And at that point, I could basically let the simulation run forever, and they'd just survive indefinitely. Of course, it's a really simple simulation, and there are a ton of other parameters that we could add to the mix, like speed, thirst, sex appeal, power, or even introduce predators. But I think it was still an interesting experiment, and a good basic example of how natural selection works. <laughs> 